Good morning, everybody. It's a finally Friday and I'm Chris Allen here on the Sam channels, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and X all sponsored by ACE hardware marketplace. It's a weekend in which we're going to feel some really nice air. We've got a beautiful air mass, a less humid air mass, a bit cooler air mass that's coming in. It actually arrived uh, last night. You can feel the difference as soon as you step outside this morning. Uh, it is going to be overall a pretty gorgeous weekend. Uh, the one exception would be Sunday, maybe Saturday night and Sunday. Uh, but other than that, uh, we're looking fine today. I mean, You've got um, the 400-mile yard sale. Today is going to be perfect for that. You've got uh, the Duncan Hines days that are going on downtown Bowling Green. In fact, I will be uh, at Soakey Marketplace this evening doing the weather at 5 and 6 p.m. on News 40 from Soakey Marketplace for Duncan Hines days. So it is going to be great. It's going to feel good, lower dew points, everything working together and just making for uh, what looks to be, for the most part, a pretty good looking weekend. So uh, that is what we have in store. Well, let's take a look outside, Plano Cam, looking beautiful, lots of sunshine, not a cloud in the sky. And for the most part, I think we're going to keep it like this today, high pressure ridge, has built in over the area, and that's what's uh, giving us the beautiful weather. And in wake of that uh, little backdoor cold front that came through last night, that is what is bringing us the much better weather and things that feel really nice here. So uh, that's, that's awesome. It's going to be an awesome, awesome day. And then we take a look at the AAA systems live cam from downtown Bowling Green. And, uh, we're seeing, you know, just some pretty, pretty good stuff here. Um, it is a uh, beautiful sky. Downtown looks beautiful, lush and green after all the rains that we've had. <laughs> That's the one thing about it that, uh, at least we can have some beautiful landscape here thanks to uh, the amount of rain that we've had of late. Um, now, the thing we got to worry about now is if it gets dry and hot again, then we're going to have to start worrying about bugs. You know, there's always going to be that, that we got to, I mean, we're getting into summer. So, you know, there's going to be that. Okay, here's a look at uh, the radar this morning. And I've zoomed way out on the radar because there we are where the little beacon is, Bowling Green, Kentucky. But look, for hundreds of miles all around us, nothing, nothing incoming either. I mean, here's the disturbance way out in western Kansas that is going to come in for tomorrow evening and Sunday. But look, today... Wow, that's a lot of territory with uh, blue sky and no rain. Satellite shows just how nice it is. Look at all that. Beautiful. There's been some patchy fog this morning in some of the low-lying areas and some of the uh, bodies of water, but that's it. But here's our disturbance that will be moving in for later tomorrow and will bring us that next chance of rain. Until then, you've got some really, really nice stuff. Uh, I love it, especially when it's a weekend and it gets like this. It's perfect, perfect timing. Here's a look at the Kentucky Mesonet numbers, temperatures on this finally Friday morning. Very nice and pleasant. 60s, almost 70 at the southern sensor down near the Ag Expo Center, uh, but overall mid to upper 60s. Here's the big difference. Dew point temperatures have come down. Look at that. Look, low 50s, mid 50s. Yeah, that's nice. 
whew, got rid of those high 60s and low 70 degree dew points. And this is why it feels so much better uh, here in Southern Kentucky this morning. Winds, they're coming out of the west light uh, at about three to five, maybe six miles per hour. A bit of a breeze, not that much, but I think we'll begin to see or feel a little breeze maybe this afternoon up to, I don't know, maybe 10 miles per hour, but all the winds will be more out of the west and northwest until we get into tonight and tomorrow, then the winds will become more southerly because that high pressure ridge will begin to move off to the east. And that's going to allow some heat and humidity to come back. Eventually it will, you know, it will, it always does, especially as we approach summer here in the next 13 days, 12, 13 days, something like that. All right, let's check the next 10 days. And we can do that with our model blender. And here we can see a preview of temperatures to come. And the first thing that catches my eye are those nineties that you see out to the uh, right of the graphic there next week and next weekend is going to be hot and it's going to be humid. So enjoy this weekend while you've got the yard sale and Duncan Hines days and all that going on. Perfect weekend weather, except as I said, on Sunday, we will get rain. But aside from that temperatures, upper seventies to low eighties and that lower humidity level, that's a bonus. But then we start to see things heating up by the middle of next week. We'll start to see uh, climbing temperatures, climbing into the mid eighties. And there we go with a streak of nineties into next weekend. It's coming. You knew it would just a matter of time. <laughs> But uh, summer is on its way, for sure. We checked the maps this morning, and we've got uh, a pretty good-looking picture here. Look at all that territory, all of this, under the influence of high pressure. And there it is, back into parts of Kansas. It is going to continue to move east, and as it does today, uh, it'll be a little east of us by the time we get into tomorrow and tomorrow evening here Saturday morning early uh, here comes the next disturbance out of the plains as high pressure does pull east of us we get a more uh, southerly flow on the back side of that high that's going to pull in some gulf moisture ahead of this disturbance and the result will be a few showers now there could be some showers tomorrow morning, especially west of Bowling Green, more so into western Kentucky. But I think all ter- our turn will come tomorrow evening. Warm front will lift. That will provide enough lift in the atmosphere for some elevated showers and thunderstorms. Not expecting anything severe. As we get into early Sunday morning, the low and the front sits right over the area and it's going to slow down a bit. And that will cause, as you see in the dark green, some maybe heavier showers and thunderstorms. But even then I'm not looking for severe weather, just some potentially heavy rainfall. Not that we need it, but it's coming anyway. Here's 7 a.m. Monday morning, and you may think, okay, why are there showers east of us and showers west, and then it looks like there's a hole in the middle? Well, that's because, well, first of all, we've got this short wave coming through, but this outline is exactly the outline for the National Weather Service office in Louisville. And their thinking is, uh, we're not, well, they haven't, I guess, caught on to what the Jackson and Paducah weather service offices have caught on to, and that is rain. So Monday morning, 
I still think there's going to be at least a chance of some showers here, even though it's not painted in. Maybe they just haven't gotten to to that point yet. But all of these forecasts come from the National Weather Service offices. So when one office disagrees with something like this, then you're going to see a hole. Uh, but I'm expecting this to fill in because that is a short wave, not a impressive short wave, but enough to cause a few scattered showers to happen. Monday morning. Then most of it starts to push off to the east on Tuesday. Here's Wednesday, Thursday. This is when the heat is really going to crank up. No major fronts coming in. Big dome of high pressure, double barrel high, building this warm dome, this ridge right over the area. And that means heat and humidity. So it's coming next week. Might as well uh, plan on it. Summer will, uh, summer like weather will be here before the official start of summer, and it's going to be quite warm. All right, you guys, that's it. Short and sweet, or well, kind of short and sweet. Uh, thank you for tuning in this morning and watching as always. God bless you, and have a great weekend.